Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Perfume Guru. Today we have a bunch of Melifluence Athars. Uh, it's another artisanal company just like Elixir Athar, Sultan Pasha Athar, just like that. And the perfumer behind the brand, the house is Roman Abdullah. I've, I've been sampling this stuff for a very long time now. And the scents are of very good quality. The ingredients are premium and uh, uh, all these scents are very perfumey. They do not feel unnatural or synthetic in any way. So I think we have another uh, interesting talent for the other connoisseurs all across the world. Uh, this is how the bunch of samples look like. The small pellets, these are called recovery vials and they are probably the most irritating uh, containers to uh, put your samples in, put your scents in but there's a specific reason why they, the, why these guys use these recovery vials basically the oils that they send you that they send you um, get oxidized when they are exposed to air in those large glass bottles so the only option they are left with is these small irritating plastic vials and uh, the scents here can um, remain neutral, remain normal for a very very long time. That's what these recovery vials are for. And the tapered end, what it helps with is complete utilization of the scent. So even with a very small size, because these others are very expensive, so even with a minute amount, you can have multiple wearings of this stuff. Because, uh, of, because of that um, tapered end, something like a tool like this, a toothpick or if you have a glass, um, uh, dipstick it's 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 very easy to reach the bottom of these recovery vials anyway let's start with uh, sampling the others i have a few favorites in here which i've already tested like uh, the musk the suga musk the suga musk it's a very beautiful blend of i feel synthetic there's there's a lot of synthetic musk in here with probably some uh, wild musk as well almost feels like a barbershop scent uh, you also have some nice strong uh, spicy woody elements like uh, your himalayan cedar and oud i think oud is something which these guys have uh, which, which which these guys have used for a very long time and they are pretty much uh, familiar with how oud behaves in a blend so most of these blends have a very nice uh, sense of uh, balance which i really appreciate so this i've already used this, this definitely has a powdery slightly leathery uh, proper animalic structure to it that's that's the wild musk and you've got some support from the synthetic musk so a nice uh, musky shipra i would say this would this will remind you of uh, proper vintage European blends, French perfumes from Chanel, etc. Uh, very good scent, Suga Musk. The next one which I really liked was uh, Kapil Vastu. Let me, yes, it's here, Kapila Vastu. Again, the same thing, spicy cedar. There's Oud. There's, uh, let me apply a tiny bit here. Use fresh, use fresh toothpick for each of these. Don't mix because then your results will get mixed and you won't be able to uh, get the proper effect of the scent. Lovely. There's sandalwood. There's there's a beautiful sandalwood. There's a lovely oud in here. There's some unique floral components as well. Very nice. Also feels like there's some cardamom in here. Spiciness coming from cardamom or nutmeg, something like that. Lovely. Feels more like cardamom. Very serious kind of scent. It's not a floral, sweet, ambery sort of scent. This is a very serious woody scent and it's lovely. When I wear it on skin, there's a lot of... Uh, com I, I can feel that this scent has a lot of complexity. There is proper depth and the quality of the ingredients is really top notch. So it never comes across as a basic scent. It is definitely a connoisseur scent. Keeps on growing, keeps on evolving. And the whiffs 
that come to your nose are beautiful because the sandalwood used in here is very very exquisite very nice scent this is kapila vastu from the house of uh, mellifluence now there are some other scents let me go through them go through these i hope you're not getting bored guys because this might be a longer video than you would expect because i just wanted to do a review of this house anyhow and i just wanted to do it in a very simple manner and in front of you guys all right the next scent is Cecil 123 Cecil a lovely greenish hue to this dark green color let's see what what this is all about probably khas a material that i love all right this right from the word go this feels like it's got a proper majmua like structure atar majmua which has this exotic pandanus flower the kevda flower there's khas which is the indian vetiver wild indian vetiver ah very nice herbal spicy herbal and as i said that kevda flower kind of uh, vibe coming from this is a very sophisticated scent and it is uh, definitely for people who love the traditional eastern athas not the modern ones not the floral ones not um, the the uh, mass pleasing ones the rook has his powdery it's it's very nice the combination is really super because the way the ingredients are blended it's it's not feeling i mean it's not giving me a feeling where you know the, the individual ingredients are not in harmony this is a very harmonious scent and you can just feel that the composition is very well thought of very well executed top notch contender for uh, natural majmua athas lovely lovely stuff this is what impresses me about these new guys because they are trying out new stuff they are spending time with their compositions which i feel is a very big uh, prerequisite to a great scent when you spend time with ingredients you know their their drawbacks you know their strengths and you utilize those um, you, know, you are able to utilize those characteristics to a great effect all right the next scent is racine racine again a dark blue a dark uh, brown looking scent all right i can sniff some coffee like thing here i think uh, roman uh, loves these woody oils a lot hence he is putting a lot of spicy woodiness cedar wood i see is something which i find find across uh, which i find in most of his compositions wow this there's, there's a nice chocolatey uh, opening to this rasina there's this coffee like uh, scent there's also some oud in it probably a cambodian oud very nice this is probably a coffee based scent the color also looks like coffee very nice very soothing it has a nice vanilla also definitely there's vanilla in here now what i'm really surprised with is the the level of uh, blending and the and the way the, the all of these individual components are blended together very good there's also some muskiness coming from it and there's also some leatheriness coming from it this is a very uh, uh, robust kind of a scent it's almost like a traditional version of tuscan leather but Uh, the tones are very natural the oud is beautiful it's 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 chocolatey it's thick it's resinous there's also a gentle incensey lift to the scent which is pretty unique the vanilla has been used to a great effect this this feels like a very premium middle eastern bakhur if you've ever used a beautiful vanilla based uh, oud vanilla based bakhur this will definitely remind you of that this is also this will also remind you of the creamy oudiness that you get from the very popular tom ford's oud wood a legendary perfume everyone loves it very safe very versatile very pleasing compliments stuff like that creamy musk creamy musk lovely scent this is chocolate proper musky chocolate oudy scent and uh, i think everyone who enjoys such dark leathery compositions will definitely enjoy this one this is like a musky gourmand All right the next scent from this house is mehndi 
imperial mehndi oud imperial a pale yellow color to the scent i'm very sorry guys i just cannot show you these properly cannot focus properly uh, because these are very very tiny vials that we have here i wish i had full bottles or at least 1 ml of these oils in a 3 ml bottle that would have been nice oh wow this almost feels like a fruity scent there's nice this almost has the smell like off the cap i haven't really applied it on skin this has a banana sort of sweetness to it lovely i'm putting a lot of oils on my hands right now this is not the way i recommend you to sample guys you can use better methods like don't go more than two others at a time but uh, i'm just trying to focus uh, my best so that i don't miss or mix up any of the notes coming from the other parts on my hands all right the opening is not too appealing there's definitely a lovely mehndi which is your lawsonia inermis uh flower use here probably the flower it, it has a nice uh spicy very very spicy in fact very nice spicy sweet patchouli like character powdery patchouli like character it's almost like a woody note and not a floral note it's a very strong very very strong um uh, ingredient perfume ingredient it has to be used very carefully the oud here is kind of buttery there is almost a ghee like pres presence in here thick uh, salty uh, oily fatty kind of smell here well up till now i found i found the other scents to be a lot better than this probably probably because of the, that oily salty kind of opening we'll we'll try to retest this fragrance later on because i cannot really enjoy the composition in its entirety we're just rushing through the scents and uh, i'll sort out my best and again make a review if something is really nice i'll try to get myself a bottle because the scents from uh, melifluence they are quite affordable that's one thing that i really like uh, most of these artisans go above 150 200 and this guy is always around 65 85 his best compositions are around 100 uh, us dollars so that's that's very very nice that's very helpful for everyone who enjoys such scents not everyone is able to afford and enjoy such scents so for for people like that this is this house is a great option all right the next scent let's go through this is usira i have never tried this scent before 77 usira it says usira it has a greenish yellowish color to it usira the name is very interesting i don't know what that means but just in case one of you do please mention that in the comment section probably it's an arabic word since i don't know arabic i don't think i'll be able to let you know what it means hmm wow this is an intense green herbal sort of fragrance almost has a marijuana feel to it there's this also this um, scent which you find that sharp scent which you find with astringent like scent that you find with marigold flowers i'm getting that i'm getting that from this scent intense floral herbal composition if you enjoy foresty scents really spicy lemon grassy uh almost terpenic uh scents you'll definitely enjoy this one there's also something nice nutty woody in here which feels like cardamom this is probably cardamom this is a proper cardamom note and the combination of all these things is is making me is reminding me of marijuana plants we've got a lot of wild marijuana plants uh spread around our area it smells like that the jungles all right let's try another scent this is santal chocolate nice this sounds interesting santal chocolate dark brown color as expected let's spread this one on the skin and see hmm intense chocolate truffle kind of scent coming from this 
little while this sounds and feels interesting i love coffee based scents guys because those kind of gourmands are very comforting especially when you wear them in winter season you definitely enjoy them more there's a fluffiness to it to it there's uh, a creaminess to it which really soothes my my uh, respiratory system i really enjoy such thick creamy gourmand scent and especially those do not those which do not have that strong spicy amber background especially enjoy those scents a lot all right this is a coffee lovers delight yes this is a very good scent and it also reminds me of one of these atars by sultan there's this lovely oud uh, yes if you if you na uh, sniffed oud picante from the house of arij ladore or if you enjoy the new russian oud from the house of arij ladore this is definitely very very close to that smell very very close to that smell santal chocolate wow i'm surprised wow in fact the similarity is just just uh, mind boggling it's this a dark chocolate coming scent coming from this this is not your regular milk chocolate sweetness which kind of uh, brings the the, the candy, candy store vibes conventional a sort of scent molecule which most perfumers use this is special thick dark chocolate bitter it has the proper bitterness to it it has uh, the coffee uh, scent to it dark woody supported by a dark woody oud which is very nice i don't know where this wow this is very similar to arij ladore's russian oud guys santal chocolate so just in case you uh have not been able to sniff one of these oud compositions by arij ladore which are pretty fantastic i mean the most extra- extraordinary oud scents actual oud scents which you will find in the market definitely try this one this is santal chocolate beautiful scent if i would definitely get a bottle for myself if i found um this particular scent for a reasonable price this is definitely a full bottle worthy for me because the scent similarity is just mind boggling and i love russian oud and i know what this scent will do on my skin very nice uh, it's a very serious scent very serious scent i i don't think uh, women will enjoy it until and unless they love such dark compositions uh, there's nothing too heavy about it so it's not oud chocolate heaviness that you get from conventional perfumes like uh, 24 gold series and all that this is a very nice perfume it has got a lovely tendency to stick to your skin it won't be like a wild animal uh, uh, coming out with a very strong hand it will be a soft gentle presence which you will enjoy and people uh, staying close to you will enjoy so this is not something which will go out of the way to you know to poke people or to disturb their uh, peace their olfactory peace anyway the next scent is Now I don't know what this. All right, this is Accord Accord Saudia, Accord Saudia. So probably an attempt to capture the perfume culture of Saudi, which is very very rich. They use some really nice, fantastic thick materials uh, out there in the Middle East, and probably he has used those traditional elements to create this scent. Let's see how this one smells like. Hmm. This is this has a very piney structure, very piney. I guess it's the sandalwood, musk, and probably some rose in there. I'm so familiar with this combination of oud rose because I myself make my own blend, so you know it's kind of etched somewhere in the memory. Whenever you sniff such a scent, all those. a uh, memories flashback you know the different combinations that you've already worked out with your nose with your brain with your mind so this is nice it's got again that animalic buttery cheesy oud kind of structure so for sure this is more like a saudi uh, oud because those guys enjoy animalic scents there they are very flamboyant with their scent uses they are not to you know uh, scared of what people will think it's it's just part of their lives and they enjoy it they enjoy a lot of oud 
and it's a wonderful thing because you have the freedom to wear whatever you want in terms of scent otherwise you become too conscious here in the office etc you cannot wear your favorite woods even thing even your perfumes like russian oud and russian musk are uh, you know can be challenging in our settings it's a nice scent it does not feel like a very complex scent as of now but i might have to leave it on my skin for a long time to be able to judge that there's two more remaining all right this one we've already covered it's a rasine let's check out the last one which says buddha wood very interesting name and i love uh, i've already sampled this one and i really loved it i remember remember it for the first you know from the first two times that i've tried it all right let's go with buddha wood i remember it sent properly if not fully you know i i have i have a slight idea what this scent was uh, this 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 had sandalwood and oud since this is the last sample that we are discussing today i'll just apply a bit on myself to get the proper feel and smell of it all right yes this is nice a lot of sandalwood a lot of um creamy florals used here this is a creamy oily almost mineralic oud like scent which has a serious character again none of these scents are very sweet or floral in character everything is like woody 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 musky woody musky and uh there's there's this spiciness as i've as i've as i've discussed before there's this spiciness cedar like uh, woodiness deep dark rich woodiness to most of these scents and i that that's probably the signature every every artist has a signature which is identify identifiable throughout their creations be it sultan pasha be it ansarud be it zakir be it uh the other artists there's always a signature there's a tom ford vanilla tobacco signature there's a roja uh, bergamot signature you know stuff like that bergamot patchouli 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 i think um, roja is all about patchouli and uh, musk now so is tuberose and jasmine this also has a bit of cedar as an incense probably frankincense olibanum rich olibanum uh, and it's not sweet it's a proper incensey like scent it's like a temple incense sort of vibe going on here it's a good scent but uh, it's a bit serious there's also moments of sweetness probably coming from that sandalwood sandalwood sweetness is something which is pretty identifiable identifiable and it's a very signature sweetness it's light it's not a proper sweet sweet uh, kind of uh, tone but it's it's just subtle sweetness which is pretty enjoyable and that's what people uh, call creaminess of sandal i believe nice very nice so guys this was our video our discussion on uh, the various mellifluence athars that i have and i hope you've enjoyed this video because i uh, i was getting a lot of requests to review these and these small samples i don't know why i have a very tough time going through these and sampling and reviewing these because you always have to use these extra tools and i hardly get time for that guys i have to take out time from my daily life to do all this so guys excuse me if this video is very long but i thought i'll do a detailed review of this house because the scents are very good quality and i definitely feel that the scent connoisseurs out there will definitely enjoy uh three or maybe more of this whole bunch of athas that roman has created i hope you have a good day and a nice weekend guys uh, see you next time with another fragrance review until then take care bye bye